From Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, as we continue embodying our female and masculine principles, opening our shoulder portals, reconnecting ourselves to our angelic essence, healing our energetic body and helping our planet in the same process, we release eons of distortions and soul disconnection. These processes involve physical sensations that are not easy to deal with. However, this is, the majority of the time, a physical sign that we are removing false beliefs, implants, imprints, and many other memories from our light bodies. Many of you are now becoming energetic, self-sustained beings, which is how my guides define sovereign beings in their own language. This means to heal, clear, and retrieve your authentic coding and soul memories, freeing yourselves from mental slavery and other outer influences to become the only authority in your life. Implants are just a label to define non-benevolent light technology that is created to distort our biological functions. Many of us at some point have had implants simply because of the 3D plane we chose to live in. Implants in the energetic and light bodies cause similar sensations to ascension symptoms. Implants function in a very similar way to the chemicals some put into their bodies, eating our life force, causing imbalances in mitochondria, and above all, in our immune system and digestive one. Implants cause energetic imbalances, mental and solar plexus distortions, and beyond everything, the blockage of our intuitive senses. When we have inorganic substances or implants that function very similarly, our bodies recognize it as not natural, and they react by creating a massive immune system response to an outer influence they cannot fight with. As a result of these imbalances, our adrenal and immune systems try to fight outer agents, resulting in the collapsing of our bodies and causing many sensations and soul disconnections, which is the main purpose of implants and similar energetic devices, so to speak, to cause soul disconnection. The nervous system is equally affected, creating feelings of stress and anxiety that may seem as if they were ascension symptoms, but are in truth caused by the energetic imbalances we hold. This is why knowing our bodies, working with ourselves the best we can, and asking our God self and guides for authentic information is so important especially if we have a blockage not yet healed that impedes us from fully receiving guidance. An anti-candida diet low in sugar helps resolve body inflammation caused by these imbalances. Gentle detox, as extreme detox weakens the body and the immune system, is also beneficial to combat outer agents. Sound therapy to aid in cellular healing is also of great support when we are removing these influences. 144. Continuing to flash in. To reconnect ourselves to our soul, removing implants and physical clearing is vital. For this, together with mental and DNA reprogramming, is what removes the many imbalances, whether implants or not, we may have. Clearing our mental bodies and minds, as both are not the same, is vital to think and feel freely, without any manipulation that distorts our view of who we are and where we are living. The more we live within divine love and respect towards ourselves and others, the more connection we regain. Our mental bodies are the most damaged ones, as they are constantly bombarded with many different tactics from society to continue being repressed and drained. However, many of you are already disengaging from old habits and ways of thinking, seeing your beauty, power, and precious gifts, stepping into a more sovereign space. This month is a blessed one in terms of healing, especially with the energies that are just arriving, to help us clear our mental body, which as you know is linked to our ego and solar plexus. Gemini and especially Jupiter now are wonderful to precisely clear mental imbalances. We have Jupiter very active at the end of May. Jupiter is a great amplifier of energies and a healer force. Jupiter is now precisely in Gemini together with Jupiter sextile Neptune. Both are great allies to assist us in clearing our mental bodies, 
balancing our ego, and opening our minds to new horizons. For it is linearity and rigidity of the mind that causes delusions and soul fragmentation. We also just had Jupiter semi-square true node, which pushes us into the future timelines that we are aligning with. It is an invitation to focus on what we are creating, not on what we left behind. For when we move our consciousness to the past, we recreate old outcomes and encounters we no longer are meant to fulfill or relive, falling into a void in between past-future timelines, hard to exit. Furthermore, on May 28th, we have Jupiter Quintile Saturn, reminding us of the importance of faith, devotion, and commitment to our personal choice of being in this ascension path. It is a force that helps us be determined to work on ourselves and our lives as the only way to achieve desired results. We are traversing a year as never before in our ascension path. We are surrounded by many cosmic allies, whether planetary energies, benevolent beings, or other stellar forces, to help us in our choice of conscious evolution. Evolution comes with a high price in terms of inner work, for it is challenging to leave old layers behind, people and places, and step into a whole new way of being and living. However, it also comes with many blessings when we finally realign, remember who we are, and retrieve our soul memories. It is then that everything starts shifting within and without, for we now walk as integrated beings, and therefore everything that surrounds us reflects the same integrity and balance. May you always remain in the love, joy, and benevolence of your heart. Within Infinite Love, from NataliaAlba.com